This video is sponsored by Vanix Host and I'll tell you more about them later. In today's video, we are going to dive in an exciting step-by-step -step guide where I'll show you how to get a powerful 72-core server with a whopping 754GB of RAM for free. Yeah, you heard that right, absolutely free. No hidden verifications or anything like that. It's a total game changer and I'm so excited to share this with you today. So are you ready? Buckle up because this is going to be awesome. Alright, here's the plan. I'll walk you through starting a JupyterLab session. This is where we'll access the server. After that, we will make some key modifications to ensure our server runs for much longer than the usual time it lasts. But that's not all. I'll also show you how to gain root access using a special script, so our session doesn't get cancelled after a few minutes. Finally, I'll demonstrate how to bypass system CTL so you can install and run all kinds of software like Alama or anything else you would possibly want. Trust me, this is going to be fun. Head over to the website that's displayed on the screen right now. Don't skip ahead just yet because you'll need to follow some crucial steps to get your server running for an extended period of time. Once you're on that site, click the try it online button. This will redirect you to Binder where the server will begin to launch. Don't worry if it takes a few moments to load, that's completely normal. Once the server is ready, you will see a button that says Terminal. Click on that. It might take a bit of time to load and to get everything up and running. But trust me, from this point forward, things are going to speed up. Alright, here we are in the terminal. First, let's check out the server specs. Run this command, lscpu, to see how many CPU cores we're dealing with. Whoa! Check that out, 72 cores, isn't that insane? Now, let's also run the command free h to see how much RAM we have. 750 gigabytes of RAM, that's completely insane for a free server, isn't it? Alright, now that we've confirmed those incredible specs, let's move on to the next step. Server configuration. Next, we're going to modify the Jupyter Notebook settings so that we can keep our session running for longer than usual. Let me explain how this works. JupyterLab has a setting that controls how long the session will stay active before it stops. Even though our server is running on a reads-only system, I've discovered that keeping the Jupyter Notebook running for an extended period will actually allow the server to stay active longer. Though. It's not indefinite, but it's a huge improvement. To learn more about this parameter, check out the link in the description below. I've added a Stack Overflow article that explains how to tweak the session timeout settings in JupyterLab. Now that the first part is done, let's focus on how to gain root access to this server using Fruit. For those of you are familiar with it, Fruit is a tool that lets you run commands as if you're root without actually being root. This gives us more flexibility. I've left some code in the description below, so feel free to copy and paste it directly into your terminal. Once you've run this, you will download. It will download a zip file, and after just a few seconds, you'll see the mission accomplished screen. Pretty satisfying, right? I do want to mention a couple of downsides. Unfortunately, you can't expose this server to the outside world. So, for example, you can't host any Minecraft servers. However, you can still run applications like Discord bots, which are great for testing and which is great for testing and experimentation. So, if that's what you're into, this server might be the perfect solution for you. While we're at it, let's make use of this new root access. We'll install some useful tools like curl, wget, sudo, and neofetch. This will make working with the server much easier and more efficient. Oh, and by the way, while this is installing, this video is sponsored by Valix Host, the go-to hosting provider with super low prices with an IPv4 to each plan. Over there, you will find unbeatable prices that will suit all your needs. 
starting from only €2.50 per month, you can get 2 cores and 6GB of RAM with full root access. It's great for Minecraft servers, websites or any lightweight project. All payments are secured with Stripe and everything is easy to use. When you're done, you can see on the client website your specs with your IP address, your username and password in case you forget it. The speeds of these servers are insane and if you want to step up your hosting experience, this is the way to go. Thanks to Valix Host for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check the description below for a special offer. Use code VPS10 to get minus 10% on all Valix Host services. Make sure to take advantage on that if you're looking for a reliable VPS hosting. Alright, so now that our basic setup is complete, let's move on to the final part of this tutorial, activating systemctl on our server. This step is crucial because it enables you to run and manage services on the server which makes it all, which makes it much more versatile. You might be thinking, this sounds complicated, isn't it going to require a ton of coding? Well, lucky you, someone on the internet has already done the heavy lifting. There's a pre-written script that, is, that makes it super easy to get the system CTL working. To get your hands on it, simply join the Discord server linked below and head over to the codes channel. Once you're there, scroll up a little bit and you'll find the script ready to copy and paste directly into your terminal. It's that simple. Before we wrap up, there's one last thing you might encounter. The need to install Python 3. If you run into this issue, just type apt install python3 into your terminal and it should install everything you need. And there you have it. You now have a fully functional, powerful server that you can use for whatever you want. Just make sure it's in compliance with Almond's terms or service, so no mining or illegal activities. Whether you're testing bots, running experiments, or just learning about servers, this setup is more than enough for all you need. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more awesome tutorials like this. Thanks again for Valix Host for sponsoring and I'll see you in the next one.